Hi there, Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about advanced logbook techniques in Canada. You can split the off-duty time as a single driver and for team drivers, you can split the off-duty time so into four and four and additional two hour break so that you can keep the truck moving, get those miles in and make lots of money. We'll be right back to talk to you about that. Hi there, Rick. Welcome back. Talking to you today about advanced logbook techniques in Canada. For the single driver, you can take your off-duty time in a 24-hour period, which is 10 hours, and divide it into two blocks, one block not less than two hours. So therefore, if you have one two-hour block, the other block has to be eight hours. If you have one three-hour block, the other off-duty block has to be seven hours. The 10 hours is not one consecutive eight-hour block now and two additional hours, that whole 10 hour period becomes two blocks of time now. All of the other rules apply for the single driver splitting off duty time, maximum 13 hour driving time in a 24 hour period. You cannot drive after accumulating on duty and driving time of 14 hours and your work day has to occur within a 16 hour window. Therefore, if you start driving at eight o'clock in the morning, you gotta be finished at midnight. <laughs> I really hope if you start working at 8 o'clock in the morning, you're going to be done by midnight anyway. Those are the rules for single drivers if you want to split up your off-duty time. For team drivers, two blocks of four hours and one other break of two hours. So it's four hours off, the other driver drives, you drive, the other driver takes off four, four, drive, four, drive. So minimum four hour blocks for team drivers. Now. One of the things that's really important for team drivers, your logbooks have to dovetail. And what I mean by dovetail is, is that they have to fit together like this. If one driver has time off, the other driver should be driving or having time off as well. One driver drives, one driver has time off. One driver has time off, the other driver drives. When you get pulled into a scale, pulled over by authorities, they're gonna look at the two logbooks and they're gonna look at them and make sure that they dovetail. One driver's driving, the other driver's off duty. The other driver's driving, this driver's off duty. So ensure that when you look at the logbooks and check them, they dovetail. So you're allowed four hour blocks, one additional two hour break within the 24 hour window. All of the other rules for team drivers apply, same rules. 13 hours maximum driving time, can't drive after 14 hours of accumulated on duty and driving time. The work day must occur within a 16 hour window, again eight o'clock to midnight. You need to have all of that done within that period of time. And it just rolls forward, four, drive, four, drive, four, and two hours off duty. Because it, within that 24 hour period, you have to have 10 consecutive hours off duty. In conclusion, single drivers can split their off duty time into two blocks, not less than two hours. And the two, two blocks have to equal 10 hours off duty. Same rules apply. Maximum 13 hours, can't drive after accumulating 14 hours on duty and driving time, and it has to occur within a 16 hour window. Team drivers, four hour blocks, and an additional two hours off in a 24 hour period. As well, team drivers, this is important. Make sure that your log books dovetail. One driver's driving, the other driver's off duty, or they're both off duty. One's driving, one's off duty. The other one, the other one, the other one. Because when they get you into the scale house, pulled over by authorities, that's what they're gonna look at. So it's imperative that you check to make sure that the two logbooks dovetail. If you like what you saw here, the complete course is over at my website. You can find the link here. The complete course, all of the rules are written down. Exercises on filling out logbooks. Questions pertinent to the exercises. True, false, multiple choice questions, a free calculator to figure out your work cycle, and at the end you'll get a certificate of completion. All of that for less than $25. Remember, pick the best answer, not necessarily the right answer. I'm Rick with Smart Drive Test. Have a great day. If you like the channel, subscribe below. Over there. Hit that one. Down there, hit that one. Click away. Hit that like button. Thanks very much. Have a great day. Bye now.